Welcome back to this special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen, live from the 2012 Cattle Industry Annual Convention and NCBA Trade Show here in Nashville, Tennessee. The beautiful state is home to a strong and vibrant cattle industry. And joining me to dis discuss more about the Tennessee beef business are Valerie Bass, Executive Director of the Tennessee Beef Council, Jennifer Houston, she's the Chairman of the Tennessee Beef Council, and Charles Horde, Executive Director of the Tennessee Cattlemen's Association. Thanks so much for coming to the show tonight. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate all the hospitality we've already uh, exhibit or we've already experienced here in Nashville. But want to talk a little bit about the beef cattle industry. What are some of the challenges facing the Tennessee beef cattle industry right now? I, I guess Kevin, like most states, uh, we've got an aging uh, demographic for our farmers. I think the average age is 56 or 57. So, you know, making sure the young producers feel like they can come into our industry and be successful to replace some of those guys as they start retiring. Um, animal welfare issues continue to pop up in Tennessee just as they do nationwide and make sure we're responding to those and educating consumers, you know, the, the way we're uh, handling, you know, raising our animals and things sure. like that. Um, input costs, uh, they continue to be a barrier. Luckily, cattle prices are up, so that eases the burden a little bit, but uh, it's still difficult. But, you know, I guess finally just uh, Tennessee's a growing state. We've got increasingly urban population when they don't know how we treat our animals and they don't know, you know, the environmental practices we put in place to be good stewards. I think they're more susceptible to some of those messages by the anti-animal agriculture groups. So we've got to make sure we're reaching out to them and, and uh, letting them know the right way we're doing things and, uh, and that we are, you know, good stewards and our animals are treated well yeah. so they can feel comfortable, you know, buying our product. I'd be interested, we have both the Beef Council and the Cattlemen's represented here, be interested to know what some of the priorities are for the coming year. Uh, maybe start with Beef Council. Well, uh, some of our priorities would include, of course, the consumer. They're always first. They're always our first priority. Um, reaching out to them in different mediums through health care work, through education, um, and just making sure that they have the information they need about the healthful benefits of beef. Um, also, we're um, interested in, in reaching our producers with how the checkoff dollars are being managed and spent. Um, we try to relay that, t taking some of the research information to county meetings and, and just trying to educate them on how their checkoff dollars are spent. What would you add from a cattleman standpoint? Yeah, um, just making sure we're representing producers in the capital. Uh, you know, the divide between the urban and rural legislatures is pretty evenly split now, so we've just got to make sure that everyone understands what we're doing and, and the interest that we need to, uh, to protect. We're a big industry in Tennessee. Now, the Tennessee uh, uh, Organization Beef Council recently voted to actually implement a 50 cent, I'm understanding, a 50 cent voluntary checkoff for the state. Is that right? Tell yep. us more about that. That's interesting. We did. In December, our producers voted. We had a charge led by the Cattlemen's Association who saw the need of the shrinking dollars that our Beef Council could work with. They saw the need that we need some more in-state money. So they sort of led the charge, went to the commissioner, set up voting procedures, and it passed in December. So beginning late this spring, we will have an additional 50 cents to be used basically for exactly the same purposes in Tennessee to promote more beef products and do more for our, our farmers that we hadn't been able to do maybe in the last couple of years because of the shrinking power of our dollar. That's outstanding. I mean, I think that's so critical, especially as we look to some of the higher beef prices we're facing. We've got to find a way yes. to promote our products. So what a, yeah. what a great act of leadership. Yeah, we're proud. Charles, you mentioned something that intrigued me before about animal welfare and, and helping yeah. people understand how we treat and raise cattle. I'd like to hear how you're being proactive here in Tennessee yeah. as it relates to some of those issues. Yeah, well, we have uh, just recently formed a kind of an animal agriculture coalition called FACT, the Farm Animal Care Coalition of Tennessee. Basically, all the agriculture industry groups in Tennessee came together, the mm -hmm. co-op system, the Farm Bureau, the soybean people, uh, the lending uh, farm credit services. Uh, they put money in a pool. We were able to hire a director to be our spokesperson when issues arise that we need to respond to, to be a, a lobbyist downtown that can educate uh, uh, producers. And also, when an issue does need to be addressed, if we have somebody not doing the right things on the farm, uh, she can go out there and help them and be proactive about responding to any issues we do need to take care of. But uh, just really uh, making sure we don't put a black eye on our own industry. You guys are setting a fast pace for yeah. the rest of the United States. That's <laughs> outstanding. You've talked a lot about industry partnerships. Bill Donald, we heard him talk about that earlier in the show. Tell us what's going on in Tennessee relative to industry partnerships. 
Well, um, our state national partnership is one that we just could not live without. I mean, it just provides everything that our state needs to reach our consumer base here. Um, it's invaluable to us the, the type of information, the type of research, the type of literature, and the tools that they provide for us to reach out to our educators and our health care professionals. So that partnership is invaluable to us, and we use that every single day. In addition, one thing we do at the Beef Council, we've always known that we didn't have all the dollars that we needed to do the kind of progress sure. we wanted to do. So we've reached out. We re recently finished a campaign. You may still see some on the interstates down here with Tennessee's dairy industry. Mm. Uh, we figured out, you know, we have more in common by far. Uh, and a lot of our producers raise dairy. We have quite a large dairy operations in Tennessee. Uh, so we had this wonderful partnership with the dairy industry. We try to partnership with groups like the Tennessee Dietetics Associations. We've had a dietitian that was a blogger for us. Mm. Uh, we worked with farm tours with them to get the influencers out on our farms and to see the way we do things. And that's really the key to extending the dollars, both at the state and we do it nationally because you just don't have the money to do what you'd like to do on your own. Yeah. Well, you got to get creative. And I, I've heard somebody once say that sometimes it's not about resources, it's about resourcefulness. We've got to figure that's out ways true. to be resourceful. It sounds Absolutely. like you're doing yes. that here in Tennessee. One last question. What would you like folks sitting at home that may not be familiar with Tennessee and the Tennessee cattle industry? What would you tell them and what would you want them to know about the Tennessee cattle industry? Any thoughts? Uh, Go ahead. Charles. I'd just like, to, like them to know that, uh, you know, we've got a, about a million mama cows in Tennessee. Uh, we're a big sector here in Tennessee. It's a great place to come and buy cattle, feed our calves out of. Yeah. So, uh, Come to Nashville, come to the trade show, and then stick around and buy a few calves, too. It's the number one uh, source of agriculture industry in our state. You know, we grow a lot of grass in Tennessee. We've got a lot of beautiful grass, and the, and the best thing to do with those is to put cows on them. So we're, we're thrilled. We've got a thriving beef industry in this, in this state. Yep. Any other thoughts? I was just going to say, while they're here, they can always enjoy some great beef. Uh, we're we're <laughs> going to do that this week. Absolutely. Thank you so much for Thanks. being on the show this evening, and thank you for all the hospitality you're already showing us. You can get more information on the Tennessee Beef Industry Council by visiting www.beefup.org or on the Tennessee Cattlemen's Association by visiting tncattle.org.